habang tinitinan kayo ng kapatid ninyo at ng nanay ninyo, gusto nilang sabihin sa inyo na pagkasuot nyo ng sutana ay gumawa po kayo ng five points. If you are wise, you will not believe them. If you are foolish, you will believe them. I suppose all of you are virgins, but choose to be wise virgins. Don't let the kasok enter your ego, because if your kasok enters your ego, then you are a foolish virgin. Be wise. Where does wisdom come from? Wisdom can only come from God. In fact, the scriptures say, the fool says there is no God. So you're here in the seminary, now wearing your cassock, in order to remind yourself that true wisdom is not learned from the classroom. The true wisdom cannot be drunk from the philosophers. The true wisdom is learned here in the chapel on your knees. Because no human being can give you fullness of wisdom. Only God can. And only belief in God, faith in God, whom you represent as you wear your satana, only God can be the source of real wisdom. And as you recognize God as the source of wisdom, you also recognize your heart as the source of your foolishness. And when your heart is separated from the heart of God, that is when foolishness really conquers us. So, let your satana be warned. Let it cover your body, but let it not bloat your ego. Let it not make you prouder or more arrogant. Let it not lead you to self-conceit. Let it lead you to wisdom, to understand that what God says is the only thing that matters. The second word to carry as we reflect on the Word of God for you is wait. Wait. The virgins waited. The seminarian must wait. Lovers wait because true love waits. If you had your way, if I offered you ordination tomorrow, you might grab it. But that is not a good decision because the priesthood is waiting for. The seminary is a training ground to teach you how to wait because waiting teaches us, teaches us patience and patience leads to love and your vocation is really love. If you have forgotten how to wait, if you refuse to wait, you have fallen into impatience. But love is patient. Love is never in a rush. Love is never in a hurry. So you will reach palapad soon. So you will reach ordination soon. Set your goal there, but do not rush. There is no crash program for discipleship. Because in discipleship, every day, every moment counts. The seminary is a place to gain wisdom. The seminary is seedbed for waiting. Waiting with love because true love waits. The third word that you must remember as you receive your cassock and you, my dear seminarians, as you join your brothers, is whole. Whole with a W. Total. Full. Not partial. 
not incomplete, not divided, whole. That is what virginity is. Virginity is wholeness. Virginity is not about sex. Virginity is not about genitals. Virginity is more than that. Virginity is wholeness. When we refuse to sin, when we refuse to allow sin to divide us, when we, ref, when we do not allow temptations to divide our hearts, virginity is about whole, total, unhindered, single-minded, single-hearted service of the Lord. Your satana covers you from neck to your heels, practically your whole body. But it is not just what the satana covers that you consecrate to the Lord. From the tip of your hair to the tip of your toenails, you belong to the Lord. Do not allow any other part of your body to belong to anything, to belong to anyone. Because, I say it again, when you just allow one hair strand to belong to somebody, or when you just allow one toenail to, break, to belong to someone, belong to something other than the Lord, you are not whole anymore. God deserves wholeness because God has given us wholeness also. Take care of your satana. Wash it when it gets dirty. Take care of your satana. Fold it reverently because that is God's gift to you. Take care of your satana. Don't soil it. Take care of it as you take care of your vocation. Do not ever take it for granted. Here in the seminary, as you receive your cassock and as your brothers welcome you as seminarians wearing the same cassock, Soak yourself in the wisdom of the Lord. Learn patient waiting. Do not rush. Do not hurry. The priesthood is not instant coffee. You must learn how to wait. And the Lord gives you His whole. Give Him His whole. And if you catch yourself giving one strand of your hair to somebody, if you catch yourself giving a part of your heart to something, if you catch yourself following a dream that does not belong to the Lord, ask the Lord to bring you back. And the Lord will bring you back and give you another opportunity to give your whole self to Him again and again. My dear seminarians, I say it again, not everybody can wear a cassock. You are now wearing it. Do not, go, do not grow too familiar with it because familiarity might breed contempt. Do not get too familiar with it such that you take your vocation for granted. Certainly, your vocation is more than your satana. But your satana is a great symbol of God's love for you. Relish it, treasure it, safeguard it, protect it. In God's time, you will be here at the altar celebrating the Eucharist with us.